Lately, I seem to be starting all of these videos with me clapping. Anyway, it is what it is. Hi guys, welcome back to another lovely, exciting episode of On Track. City Object 268, version 4. Where are we at with the uh, SU-100M1? Well, our crew is almost 100%, so that's cool. We are literally... We have the upgraded gun now, um, so we're now shooting a decent pen of 212 with our regular ammo and 258 with our premium. So we do somewhat stand a chance against mediums and light tanks at tier 9. Heavies, super heavies, absolutely no chance. Um, and we've got ADK of uh, EXP to get. We do have a random blueprint that was added to it many moons ago in the galaxy far far away so there is that so fingers crossed um we'll kick things off with a booster or two and uh hopefully let's get into it okay guys we are on fjord standard battle um punching above our weight we're at tier eights here and that's fine that's fine it's only a one tier difference. It's only, it's only a one tier difference. It's all good. As as one of my favourite uh, favourite voices is, anyway, it's all good. It's all good. We'll work the problem. We will work the problem. Plenty of tank destroyers. So I am going to wait for them to get into specific positions. Our poor MY tank is uh, got the small PP gun. We've got a score order 27. We've got a CS53. If you're going to go CS53, go. We've got a super duper Hellcat. Who's not just regular Hellcat, he's a super duper Hellcat. Who I shall call Barry. Hiya there, Barry. How you doing, Barry? No one likes Barry's. No one's ever liked Barry's. Alright, so we might be able to... Well, okay, we damaged his gun. Alright. So we did damage his gun. That's made him back off a wee bit. And we've already lost our CS-53. Oh, that's nice. My Super Hellcat is fighting with an E25 and is losing. Well, you will, because he's an E25. He's got the much higher rate of fire. All this kicking off and I can't... There we go. So E25 is dead. That's good news. We can't get shots over there, can we? Ooh, we can. Alright, upper lovers getting eviscerated. Come on. There is absolutely nothing I could do. Nothing. Well, that was bloody miserable. I got a whopping one, two shots off, damaged the gun on the T-77, and I think I penned, yeah, I penned the F whatever we old vehicle. Yeah, nice. This is why you should never play World of Tanks on the weekends, guys, because every bloody window liquor in their mother comes out. I can't believe that there was, at one point, I think it was like 
six plus tanks that just sat in the top corner of the map and did fuck all. And I mean, did absolutely nothing. And they watched us all fall, literally just fall like dominoes. And they just sat there and still carried on and did nothing. It's people that do that shit, in all honesty, that drive players like me to play other games and or to play events where they cannot participate i.e. the onslaught stuff where it's only tier 10s but even then i've seen some tier 10 players pull some shit off that just would would still it it, it baffles me to this day Okay, no shots on that Yagi. I hide within a I'm not scared. I'm not prepared. Alright. Got no shots into that T-103. Or that Yagi, because, you know, Wargaming in their infinite wisdom, let's put houses where they just don't exist so that we can stop players from coming up with innovative ways to play our map that we don't want them to play on our maps because we're Wargaming and we have a little Hitler fetish because, you know, you will only play our maps how we want you to play them and not how you want to play them. This video game is not about you for you to have fun! Um, here it is. Oh, he flipped. Why don't you just ram him, dude? Yeah, and Iron Arnie's just gonna reach out from downtown on the hill, nowhere fucking. It's, it's amazing how, you know. Oh, we're gonna put one specific part, part on the map that only certain specific tanks can get to that's going to ruin the fun of everyone else because we're wargaming and we know how to design maps. No, you don't, you still clubbing twats.
You couldn't, you wouldn't know, Wargaming's map designers wouldn't know how to make a fucking decent map if it literally sat on their face and shat in their mouth. Prove me wrong. I mean, take a look at the fucking matchmaker. That's been a, a disgrace since fucking 7.1. Hey guys, I figured I'd record a game in the big booker. Why the hell not? We are on highway, so... Eh, I've been on some worse maps. And we have a slow-ass Martian with us. Chieftain's gone ahead, Leopard's doing a little bit of preemptive scouting. TDP's in a position to snipe in case anything pops up. Uh, M60TP's with me. That's good news. Yes, you are. M6, you just don't realise it. Alright, so, definitely tier 10 match. That's fine. I mean, that's to be expected. I'm tier 10. No, we can't always get neg 2 matchmaker. Can we, Wargaming? Alright. Leopard's not lit anything up yet, but that don't mean shit. Okay, we've uh, lost our, our center in action 10 already. Yay. I don't know how you lose a Centurion Action 10 already. Our poor Pokemon tank's about to get gangbanged. We destroyed a Leopard 1. Thanks for pulling back. Thanks for letting me die, losers! Seriously, Maushin, come on! Literally, fucking Maushin. Why? Why? Why go down that horrible tech tree line? That is literally the forest gump of fucking heavies. Oh well. Let's get back to the, uh... Let's get back to... Well, still haven't won a single game yet today, so... Why? It's the weekend, and this bloody chair won't stop squeaking. I have literally doused this thing in WD-40 and bloody damn near axle grease. It still will not stop squeaking. Pain in the ass. Everyone keeps asking me why am I not doing onslaught mode. Because onslaught mode does not make you credits. And I am bloody broke. Onslaught mode, as fun as it appears to be, is literally only appeals to players who have an expendable amount of credits. And what I mean by expendable amount of credits, I mean credits who are, you know, 20, 30, 40 plus million where they can just spunk gold at everything and lose three, four hundred thousand a match and just don't care. That's what I'm talking about. That's an expendable income. That is something I do not have. A 
especially in order to be competitive. I have a, I have a plethora of tier 10 tanks at my disposal. It's just no. Yeah, Dick and Max has already taken a hit because their piece of shit T37 light tank went running all the way in the middle, and our Chaffee's literally going to do nothing for the rest of the match. All right, thanks for literally doing nothing, Chaffee. Yeah, I'm lit. Yeah. And of course, Chaffee ain't gonna spot shit because you're blind as a fucking bat. Because if you were of any decent... Yeah, see? You're an idiot. Chaffee's blind as fuck. You're an active scout, Chaffee. Learn your tank. You're not a passive scout. I said, weekend warriors who don't know diddly fucking shit about their own fucking tanks. And that's probably the highest tank he's got, which isn't even a fucking tech tree tank. It's a fucking bullshit fucking collector's tank, and he's probably playing it like it's a fucking premium. It's not a premium, you fucking... Mm. Choose your words wisely, Dan. Well, apparently we won our first one. Yay! Apply. Even though I shouldn't have applied that, but doesn't matter. We won one. Yay. About feckin' time. Uh, also, our Yagi won as well. Our Yagi got uh, Master Gunner and Sharpshooter. Just amazing. Just just amazing. Flash nash. Alright, so let's get right back at it. Hopefully, we, this match will last more than five bloody minutes oh yay Abby I can literally feel my fucking will to live just fall out of my butt alright they have a Oni with a lot of bloody hit points uh, and a big derpy gun um, we got a KV2, they got a KV2, eh, and I, I guess it's kind of even Stevens, but this is low t lower tier, so it's, it's fine. With him being slower, he's definitely going to gonna go, want to go down the 1-2 line. We, um, I guess, could help support the middle? There's a lot of there's a higher tier tank destroyer than me, so I'm going to let him take priority. That's how I tend to play the priority game. Case in point, if you are, if I'm tier six and you're tier eight, you get priority. One, you got more. Usually, you got more hit points. You got more armor. You got a better gun, better view range. Just overall, just a better performing tank. Hence, that's why you're tier two tiers higher than me. And so, that's what I do. Is I tend to just let the higher tier tanks uh, will take the spots that they want um, it's it's not necessarily being mean or evil or anything like that it's just me you know playing it smart um, Panther's not let anything up VK went middle Panther, really, seriously, pull back, bro. They're doing a mid push? Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's thinking twice about his life right now. Of course, first shot, pinpoint accuracy, next shot. Yeah. Well, of course, there's a Chaffee out there. It's off, Chaffee. I've got no shots on that KV-1. None on that T-30. Oh, there's that Chaffee. 
Turnaround's only fair, you annoying little shit. Alright, so we have lost. Mid. Come on. But we do have some fast tanks. What's the chances? Okay, KV one's dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heading back now. Oh, he was there. Ah, oh, I should have took the shot. I was going to say, what's the chances that the Chaffee's actually there? Turns out he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a P43. Yeah. Okay, so the Kakara is getting there. There's the AEC. These are all tanks I know I can pen without tapping a two key. If I can get shots, that is. Legit wargaming. I'm right here. Rudy Chaffee, you don't get it, do you? Piss off. Oh my god, Yank Panther, piss off. Hey look, if you're gonna turn side on to me. Piss off. You're not learning, are you? I will make you learn. Come on, Wargaming. What what, what was that? What was that? Like, for real, what the hell was that, governor? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the actual fuck was that? <laughs> hit, hit, nah, bruv, nah, bruv, nah, bruv, hit, uh, what the I can literally just picture her like a fucking German soldier standing there like a football keeper. <sighs> yeah. Jeez. I'm not even joking. You know that. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Like, what the actual hell? All right. Nice. We have got some work done on the campaign uh, for the Excalibur I believe it's is it Coalition or Union we just did no it was Union it was Union with honours um, do 6 grand damage to light tanks ok and cause 2 grand to enemy damage to vehicles in general so ok that's fine so just hit light tanks just, just shoot basically just have fun cool got it nice Nice one. Alright, so we've got three things for our exterior as well. Decals. What are they for? Okay, so we've got some screaming eagles. Awesome. I can smell the freedom. Mary care. Yeah. Even though I'm a Soviet tank. So, yeah. Go figure. Anyway, guys, and our crew have even got their first tier of skill. Yay! We're no longer technically on the struggle bus. That is wishful thinking. <laughs> All right. So, first things first. Driver, you are going to get... Uh, where is it? Uh, do I want to go smooth ride or clutch braking? Clutch braking. Whole traverse speed of 5%. Yes. This thing is a turd. It does not turn for shit. Um, and I'm going to have to go with intuition on the loader. 
because uh, we do carry alternate magazines. Gunner, um, snapshot, and our commander. Um, because you're not just the commander, you're also the radio operator. Um, but we will be getting a dedicated radio operator later in a different tank. So I'm not going to start with any of those. In fact, I'm actually going to start with recon. Hopefully that will get our view range up. To what? Okay, almost 400. That is usable for now. That is usable for now. Um, that is usable for now. Okay, guys. All right. All right, all right, all right. We're about 60k away from getting the SU-101 unlocked. Uh, so, yeah, I am going to leave the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And most importantly, and this I cannot stress enough, a big thank you to this video sponsor, Coffee Brand Coffee. Links will be in the video description down below. Jeremy, you rock. Go please, go check them out. They don't just do coffee, they also do teas. They also do, do uh, K-Cups. They also do cocoa. They even do um, seasonal snacks like uh, nuts, chocolate, things of that nature. Please, go check them out. They do gift packages for your loved ones, girlfriends, boyfriends, uh, partners, you name it. Please go check them out. I greatly appreciate it. If you use the link down below, uh, you actually get, uh, I think it's 5% uh, off your first order. And then you get more off the more you order. So if it's a first time order and it's a one off, it's 5% off. If it's an annual order, i.e. every two, three months, you get 10% off. Anyway, guys, until then, keep sure it's fine. Keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao, guys.